The dirtiest guy on TV has one of the kindest hearts, and his hit TV show, Returning the Favor, has it and others on full display. Season 3 is on Facebook Watch right now, and with me now is the host of the show, Baltimore's own Mike Rowe. Welcome. Elsa, how are you today? I am great. I'm happy to have you here. I'm, I'm sure that most viewers already know about your hit show, Dirty Jobs, but now you are returning the favor on Facebook Watch. Tell us more about that. It's true. Same basic idea. I let the viewers tell me where to go, only this time, instead of crawling headfirst into sewers, I'm going to towns to find uh, what I like to call bloody do-gooders, people slightly better than you and me doing something in their community that makes a difference. Uh, we show up, we find these people, we, uh, we surprise them by giving them something that allows them to do more of what they were already doing. But along the way, you get a chance to see uh, how a feel-good show is, is made. You know, we use a lot of behind-the-scenes cameras. Right there, for instance, you're looking at a woman called Ann Ruddesill. Ann runs an organization called uh, down River for Vets in Wyandotte, Michigan, and she runs a just a has a great facility, but it just wasn't big enough. She needed a new warehouse, so basically we showed up, pretended we were doing a documentary, got all of her friends together, built this new warehouse, showed it to her at the end of the episode. She cried. Everybody else cried. Then everybody laughed. Then we all went out and had a beer and went to another town and did it again. It's great. It's so funny because that was initially what I thought when I saw her expression was just like, oh, I'm going to cry at my desk. This is one of those videos and one of these shows that you're going to keep watching and, and cry those happy tears, right? I hope so. But look, I also want you to laugh because okay. we, could, we could use a little more laughter in our, in our news feeds, that I think. That is true. And I also, want, I also want people to understand that they can they can program the show all of our ideas come from the viewers right there in baltimore not long ago we we profiled a, an organization called project jumpstart which is doing great stuff downtown and just not enough people knew about it so we wanted to you know the the, the truth is elsa anytime i have an excuse to come back to baltimore i'll drag the crew and and find a story there i, I love shooting well we'll, we'll take you every time so i want to ask you though what inspired you to produce this show specifically and again how can we get you know some of these organizations on your radar uh the organizations are are really easy to find it's the individuals that are that are tricky and and that's what i really want to focus on in the next season just finding regular people in small communities who just deserve the spotlight mm -hmm. uh, as for why this show i just looked around the country and thought it was probably time to do something that united people well I mean, it we focus on differences so much i you know there's got to be something aside from work that brings people together, and I, I think maybe it's, it's decency. Yeah, it definitely makes sense, and it makes sense coming from you. I have to tell you that we met your mom last week. She came on the show talking about her <laughs> new book. Uh, I, she yeah. was talking about her mother. That's the name of the book, Talking About My Mother. So you come from great stock. I can, I can see why you wanted to produce this show as well. Thank you so much, Mike. We My really mother's... I'm sorry, go ahead. She's... She's out of control. My mother's out of control, I'm just saying. She's 81 years old, and she's the New York Times best-selling author. So I love it. Whatever. I love it. She's amazing, yeah. as are you. Thank you for being on the show. Really appreciate it. And we'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.